हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दी नेक्स्ट सेशन ऑफ वॉट्स न्यू इन ऑप्शन गाइनिंग टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग वेरी न्यू चेंज दैट हैज अकर्ड इन दी न्यू सीमन पैरामीटर्स सो अपटिल नाउ फॉर डायग्नोसिंग इनफर्टिलिटी इन मेल्स वी वर फॉलोइंग डब्ल्यू एच ओ टू थाउजेंड टेन गाइडलाइंस इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन जुलाई और आई गेस जून और जुलाई द गाइडलाइंस हैव बिन अपडेटेड अगैन सो लेट्स गो थ्रू दैम नाउ वॉट यू आर फॉलोइंग इन ट्वेंटी टेन हैज बिन चेंज इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन what we are discussing we are discussing the semen parameters before discussing semen parameters lot of questions are being asked on basic semen collection that you should know so what is written in the who guidelines itself that i'm telling you so basically the abstinence period which is needed for collection of a semen sample is 2 to 7 days so write it down it is not 3 to 5 it is not 3 to 7 it is 2 to 7 days as per who only then this is the abstinence time so abstinence should be more than 2 days but less than 7 days then the temperature of the container in which you are collecting the semen sample should be between 22 degree to 37 degree celsius okay so that should be the temperature it should be maintained the method you use is the masturbation and but if the person is not able to collect the semen sample via masturbation next option comes is non toxic condom and non toxic condom means no latex condom so latex condom cannot be used for semen collection okay so this is the temperature and in how many hours the sample should reach the laboratory ideally within 30 minutes the sample should be put to testing okay so sample should be put to testing within 30 minutes and that is the minimum time in which it should reach the lab maximum time if you are not able to reach by 30 minutes you have to put it to testing within 60 minutes if you are putting the semen to test after 1 hour you will not find the correct findings and then it is useless so the time limit in which semen sample should reach the lab is 30 minutes to 50 minutes okay in 50 minutes it should reach the lab because the time in which the testing should start is the 30 minutes to 60 minutes okay so testing should start in this time limit and the transport should take not more than 15 minutes so 30 to 50 minutes is your limit for semen sample transport so this is the basic for collecting the specimen now the why the guidelines have been updated again i told you if you remember the story around it or little you it is easier to remember basically uh, the fifth edition so this was the fifth edition of who which mentioned the semen analysis parameters so the new sixth edition they criticized the previous one why they said that the sample size was very less and it was a voluntary sample so patients came voluntarily so many of them were there was not a proper distribution of fertile and infertile men so in this sixth edition huge sample of almost 3000 men varying from different area was taken okay to create a better cut off right so the cut off is not very different from 2010 but yes it is different and you should know whatever the changes there the cut off is generally the fifth centile in both the editions the fifth centile okay is everything below 5th centile in semen parameters is abnormal everything above 5th centile so you have taken 100 men so everything which falls below the 5th centile of that 100 men is abnormal everything above that is normal so now the semen volume if you talk about volume so initially the volume which was normal was 1.5 ml should be the volume of an ejaculate it is now lowered down to 1.4 ml so i told you the changes are very less but you have to know the right figure so now it is 1.4 ml and then the semen count previously 15 million per ml but now in new one it is 16 million per ml okay so this is just 1 million change but you have to remember the correct figure volume count now comes the motility so total motility should be 40% according to the previous guidelines but now newer one said total motility should be 42% okay so this is total motility actively motile previously were 32% the reference range now it has been reduced to 30% so there has been a change of 2% motility from 40 to 42 actively motile 32 to 30 it's frustrating that such a small figure change has been there but you have to remember whatever the changes are there so active motility should be more than 30% not 32 now there has been no changed in uh, the vitality vitality is still it has to be more than 54% so test for vitality whether the sperms are uh, dead or alive are done if this thing motility is less than 42% 
then you do the vitality test basically you don't do vitality test in all these semen samples because if more than 42% are motile you want to see whether those immotile sperms are dead or alive then you check for this vitality okay so this number is constant the most important parameter in any semen analysis is morphology so morphology number is still same 4% so more than 4% sperms should be morphologically normal okay so these are the changes volume should be more than 1.5 it was but now it should be more than 1.4 count should be more than 16 million per ml then uh, motility should be more than 42% actively motile should be more than 30% vitality should be more than 54% and morphology should be more than 4% this is the fifth centile range okay this is the new change because a larger group more wider group has been taken so i hope this was helpful thank you so much